Hey guys, what's going on? It is Tuesday. You know what that means? It is Two Minute Tuesday. What? It's not Tuesday. Okay. Um, Wednesday? Two Minute Wednesday doesn't even sound the same. It's Thursday? Wait. Who won? Wait, who won the World Series? Are you kidding me? Wait, and Epstein didn't kill himself? What? Okay, alright. Let's try this again. Hey guys, it is Two Minute Thursday. Happy Reformers Day, and let's get started. By the way, who am I for Halloween? Clearly, I'm Razor Ramon, this little thing. If you didn't get that reference, that's okay. If you did, let me know. But let's get started right now. Mr. John MacArthur, not too long ago, he was asked about Beth Moore, amazing teacher, amazing author, and he said, go home. He alluded to women should not be teaching or preaching in the church. And he used this verse, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 12. I do not allow a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man. They take this one word from Paul and they make a whole doctrine around it. And let me tell you, anytime you do that with scripture, um, you will usually be in error. Any verse is meant to be looked at through the context of all scripture. When we look at 1 Timothy chapter 2, many theologians believe that this passage was addressing an isolated incident in Ephesus. Because when you study Paul, you see that there are women in uh, his life that were in leadership in the Bible. And you also see in the context of full scripture, Judges chapter 4, Deborah is a judge over the people. You have Miriam, who was also in leadership, a prophetess by the name of Huldah in 2nd. 2 Kings chapter 22. The resurrected Jesus in Mark chapter 16 verse 9. The first person to see him was Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. And the Bible says that they went to go and tell the disciples. John chapter 4. The first evangelist to the Gentiles was a woman. Romans chapter 16 verse 7. Paul refers to a woman by the name of Junia and he calls her an apostle. Phoebe. Romans chapter 16 verse 1 and 2. She's described as the Greek word diakonos. When you translate it into English, it's a deacon or a minister. Paul uses the same word for himself and for others who engage in the preaching and the teaching ministry of the gospel in the early church. In my household, I'm not the best preacher. That would be my wife, Rebecca, is by far the best preacher in the house. But there's so many others, obviously Beth Moore, and there's many, many others. Uh, as much as I respect some of the work of John MacArthur, I don't respect all of them, I'm still waiting for him to apologize to all the charismatic and Pentecostal people. His go home statement was out of line. We've seen that God doesn't exclude women. Um, there's a great book that I would love to recommend. It's by my mentor, Lee Grady, The Ten Lies the church tells women i highly recommend it and i will put a link in the comments if you're a woman and you have a call of god in your life or be obedient to the lord do what he's called you to do as this is two minute thursday uh, i hope this bless you i hope this ministered to you if you did do me a favor like and share and listen uh, i'm going to do something tomorrow on social media about the revival shirts and i'm going to be doing a 10 percent off uh, but for you guys who watch two minute tuesday i'm going to do a 15 percent off coupon code that code is tmt it will be all day today and i will be doing it tomorrow so that's a special for those of you who guys are watching um and i'll be having a 10 percent coupon tomorrow um and then it'll just go back to the regular price but people say they're super comfortable and they're super trendy it helps us with our now events and our outreach events buy a shirt for you buy a shirt for your friend it would help our ministry again this is two minute thursday uh, we'll be back next week with two minute tuesday i apologize for the delay on this but i love you all so much and we'll talk soon blessings Thank you.